this is Mato. In this video I will show you the game between Radoslav Dimitrov and Ahmed Farid. This is the game from Chess Olympiad that was played in Tromso in 2014. Radoslav Dimitrov, player with white pieces, is representing Bulgaria and Ahmed Farid is representing United Arab Emirates. Did you know that the tallest building in United Arab Emirates is Burj Khalifa? It is 828 meters tall and has 163 floors. The tower is both the tallest building in the world and the tallest man-made structure of any kind in the world. Let's have a look at the game. Radoslav Dimitrov started with knight to c3. Hmm, nice. Not many people start like this. e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, e takes on d4, knight takes on d4, queen to f6, attacking the knight on d4 and eyeing the pawn on f2. Perhaps black queen is in the game too early. What do you think? Better was modest knight to f6. Okay, the game continued. Knight on d to b5. Bishop to c5, threatening. Queen takes pawn on f2. White to move. How would you continue? e3 or knight takes pawn on c7. Dimitrov captured the pawn on c7. This is check. King to d8. e3. And white knight on c7 is a taboo. Knight is attacking the rook. Rook to b8. Why not king takes knight? Can you see why? If king takes knight, then knight to d5. Check. Fork in the king and the queen. And after king to b8, Knight takes queen. Okay, so we have rook to b8, knight from 7 to d5, queen to h4, g3 attacking the queen, queen to h6, e4 attacking the queen again, queen to g6, bishop to h3, knight from g to e7, knight to f4 attacking the poor queen again, queen to f6. Dimitrov castle kingside, h5, knight from f to d5, attacking the queen, queen to g6, bishop to f4, attacking the rook on b8, rook to a8, bishop to f5, attacking the queen, knight, <laughs> knight takes on f5, pawn takes knight, queen takes pawn, finally Ahmed is happy that his queen is not target anymore. Unfortunately, it is getting even worse. His king is a target now. Bishop to c7, check. King to e8. Knight to e4. Knight to e7. If queen takes knight, then rook to e1. Winning and pinning. Or should I say pinning and winning? So we have knight to e7. Knight takes knight. Bishop takes knight. Rook to e1. Threatening knight to d6 check. Winning the queen. King to f8. Bishop to d6. Queen to g6. Queen to d5. Bishop takes on d6. Knight takes on d6. Threatening rook to e8, check, mate. King to g8, white to move. What would you do? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for white. Hmm. What did you find? White played the move and black resigned. The move is knight takes on f7. If king goes to h7, to a safe spot, 
Then rook to e5. This is one of the moves. Knight takes rook is also possible. d6. Rook takes pawn check. Queen takes rook. Queen takes queen check. King to g8. Knight takes rook. Or if queen takes on f7. Then rook to e8 check. King to h7. Queen takes queen. That is why black resigned in this position. What do you think of this game? What do you think of this unusual opening? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.